Uh, I'm Al Tubbs, and I am uh, chairman and CEO of Onward Bank Shares, a group of uh, community banks here in eastern Iowa. We have four community banks, and uh, overall we employ about 280 people uh, throughout the organization, uh, going from kind of Cedar Rapids to the north edge of the Quad Cities and into the nose of eastern Iowa. The skills that we look for in the people we hire uh, for banking, we have to focus on the three R's. I mean, they're still vitally important. Obviously in banking, why uh, number skills are important, and it's not just number skills, but we have to be accurate, I mean, to the penny every day on everybody's account. And, and so uh, uh, we have to reflect that confidence and that accuracy. Uh, so uh, math skills, uh, number skills are vitally important. Uh, we also uh, have uh, pages and pages of regulations. In fact, new regulations, uh, some thousands of pages of new regulations coming down in this new uh, Dodd-Frank bill. We have to have people that can uh, read with great comprehension and help us understand uh, what it is we have to do to stay compliant in this uh, new financial world. And then banking, of course, is still a, a people business. And so we need people that have people skills and can communicate both in writing uh, and verbally. Uh, it's, it's so important. We need people that can look people in the eye, uh, have a firm, ha firm handshake, and uh, uh, be sincere uh, and be comfortable meeting people that they uh, haven't met before. Uh, we need technology skills. Uh, banking is delivered uh, in an ever-changing uh, technology environment. So we not only have to have people that can help develop some of this technology uh, and use it, but we also have to train our customers. Because as we, as we uh, offer new uh, technological ways to uh, deliver services, why people need to know how to use it. And particularly uh, seniors, uh, well, that's a learning experience. So we need people that can communicate with seniors. Uh, we need people that uh, can work together, collaborate with each other. Uh, we need critical thinking and creativity. Uh, most all of our decisions uh, are made uh, by a team, by a group. I'm a firm believer that uh, groups make better decisions than individuals do, and you can have all kinds of, uh, there's some games that you can play that, that will prove that out. Uh, and so we need people that uh, uh, respect each other and can respect each other's opinions and work together and uh, work effectively as a team and come up with a decision that's the best decision uh, for the group. Another point I guess I'd make is that uh, a buzzword in human resources these days is emotional intelligence. Um, we need people that understand themselves but also uh, can relate to other people and, and, and read within them uh, the emotional needs of others. Uh, and that helps communication uh, a great deal. Uh, and uh, it's something that, uh, that we look for and uh, hope that we can uh, gain and also train uh, in some of our people that we are able to uh, better interact with people if we understand their emotional needs. One of the things I think we need to do a better job of in, of in, in schools uh, as well as uh, probably colleges is economic and financial literacy. Um, we need a staff that understands how our economic system works and how our financial system works. Uh, a lack of that uh, really creates problems uh, obviously for politicians uh, as well as for others and as we, we increasingly have an interconnected world uh, globally. Why we're seeing these days what happens in Europe and Europe financial markets has a big impact on us. So we need people that have some basic knowledge anyway uh, of our economic system and can help people uh, with their financial solutions. Again, in this global world, uh, we have to understand what's going on in other areas of the world. Uh, I get appalled, particularly when I listen to uh, some politicians uh, talk about uh, the economy and financial solutions. Uh, ABA, American Bankers Association, did a survey not too long ago, 
and uh, found that 75% of our Congress have not had any training in economic uh, uh, activity or uh, finance, and yet they're trusted to solve our, these kind of problems. So understanding global relationships, understanding how our economy works, understanding fiscal policy, that is the government's spending and taxing, monetary policy, uh, what the, how the Federal Reserve reacts to that, uh, is very important, and I think we all need to have a better understanding of that going forward. Uh, in addition to that financial literacy, uh, my own finances. I, you know, we look at the meltdown in 2008, and institutions get blamed for that. And yet, had we had more financial literacy, if people would have understand, would have stood better their own financial capacity, understand what kind of commitments they were taking on, I think that the meltdown would have been far more mild. I also believe that all individuals are intelligent and creative in some way. Um, and part of our job, I think, and schools can help this, is to help individuals understand where their intelligence and where their creative uh, ability lie. Um, our job then, as an employer, is to try to uh, fit those creative skills into the job that best fits their skills. Um, if we get somebody, uh, try to fit a round peg into a square hole, they can be the most intelligent person in the world, they can be the most creative person, uh, but they may not be happy and they may not be successful. And so I think there's a, there's a new awareness uh, and a new appreciation for the creativity and intelligence of people that are different. Thank God we're not all alike. And that helps us make better decisions, but it also takes a respect for each other and each other's uh, uh, uniqueness. Education in the home, uh, in the community, and the schools, I think, needs to re-emphasize uh, again, I'm coming back to communication and interpersonal skills. Uh, I get concerned these days when I see uh, particularly young people, I guess, immersed and tightly focused on a video game, uh, a DS, uh, a cell phone, an iPod or an iPad. Uh, they're learning very well how to communicate with a gadget or through a gadget and I think uh, for the future, a certain amount of that is necessary and important. But it can't be to the expense of having good interpersonal skills to be able to talk to people eyeball to eyeball, face to face, and to appreciate and listen well to the person that they're visiting with. Um, so face to face communication, interpersonal skills, in any business setting, I think, are critical. And. Uh, we need to make sure that we get our face out of those devices at times and learn also how to deal with people face to face. Uh, another area that uh, I think maybe was more focused in the home and maybe now we, schools need to uh, emphasize is the area of rights and responsibilities. Um, I'm concerned that uh, too many people focus on themselves and what their rights and their entitlements are and not as concerned about what the consequences of their decision might be and not accountable for those decisions that they make. I think a lack of self-discipline, and that's, a, that's something that I think we all need to have, self-discipline, uh, lack of self-discipline and accountability uh, lead to uh, irresponsibility and dependence on others for uh, your own well-being and your happiness. Uh, parents, communities, and schools need to help students develop, I think, a strong work ethic, along with that uh, common sense and moderation. And I think maybe that was, I look at a farm background and think, you know, we had to have a lot of common sense growing up on the farm because we had solutions we had to solve every day. Uh, in our hiring, uh, we're looking for people who can work effectively with others, uh, and feel a sense of pride in providing uh, excellent service uh, or in achieving, in achieving uh, team success.